Hello everyone. Well, we're back. It's uh, one more beautiful, beautiful day out there. I can, I think you can tell that. And uh, Mama has a task for me. She wants a raised garden up on our back deck. So, I've done some uh, research. I went to YouTube U and took a look. Dunked about a bunch. And I've come up with a plan. Now I have to figure out whether I have the wood to do, the wo to do this with because, uh, well, I'll be back in a little bit and we'll, we'll get started and show you exactly what we're doing. Okay, well the first thing we're going to do here is, or I have done, is I took a plastic barrel, a white plastic barrel, and I cut it in half. This is going to be her gardening garden once we get the, the uh, brackets made to hold it. Uh, I will come back and show you what I've done, how I've done it. Like I said, I'm going to copy something that uh, looked like, uh, I believe it was the Oklahoma University or whatever, did something like it, but I'm going to change it up a bit, make it more my style and a little bit stronger. Uh, and I will go through the measurements and what I'm doing and how I've actually built this and, you know, and how I've cut it. I'll be back in a little bit with all the cut pieces. Okay, we're back and uh, the one thing I want to make sure it's understood. This is not a 55 gallon drum. This is a smaller one. So if you are going to build this and you're going to build it with a 55 gallon drum, all of the dimensions I'm getting ready to give you will be different. But it's easy to figure it out, which is uh, exactly what I did by cutting the barrels in half, sticking two befores around, making measurements. This gives me, and also from here to there, this gives me uh, all the dimensions I need. And then when you look at the, the height, Mama said she wanted it about three foot high. So I took the dimensions of a two before by eight foot and I decided to try to get as much out of it as I possibly could. So here's what I did. I cut four 35 and one quarter inch pieces of two before. I cut four 31 and three quarter pieces of two before. I cut two 46 and a quarter inches of two before. I cut three 29 inches of two before. And I cut two 43 and a quarter inches of two before. Now, each one of these measurements were raw measures, just like I see you see right here. I will square it. You can tell that's a little different back there, but that's okay. That's all right. That's not going to hurt a thing. I'm going to go ahead. I'll put this, I'll get uh, my screws and everything out here available. And then I will come back with this. It'll be on a tripod and I will basically put it together before your very eyes. And we'll see how there's also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more pieces that I will be cutting and you'll see them laying over here when I come back. And I think you'll automatically know what they're gonna be. See ya. Favorite jobs, jobs that I get to sit down at. Being that this is treated wood, I am definitely using deck screws. Uh, And then by the time I get done here, well, basically I can tell you now, I have used seven two before by eights to do this. 
Now, that is a little bit pricey to a certain degree, but the fact that I did do this with treated lumber will mean that this is going to last for a long, long time. We discussed using regular construction grade and then staining it, and I suppose that would have worked also, but I believe in the long run this is still going to be the best issue, the best method. It always helps when you have your drill going in the right direction. Let's get these attached permanently to this framework and then we'll go on to step whatever number that is and uh, see what we do. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use one and a quarter inch by eight decking screws, they're short ones, and uh, fender washers. Uh, the fender washers are basically to keep the screws from pulling through the plastic. And uh, I'll put three on each side, here here, and two on each end. And that should be enough to suffice the majority of the hold, and then you'll see how it's going to be done. Again, you know, uh, okay. the next process. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pre-drill everything uh, just to uh, make it so that the little screws don't have such a hard time getting in. So I'm going to go ahead and. Again, I have to make sure that this is not proud in any way. There we go. Put one in the middle. And one on either side of that. Okay. Now I took these fender screws, fender uh, washers off of uh, what we hold the uh, pool winter cover with. Yeah. I'm not uh, going to continue to bore you all with me putting screws in. So as soon as I get this one in, I will shut the camera off and I'll finish putting these all in. And I'll bring you back when that's all done. So I'll be right back. Okay, you can see here that I have it screwed in. I said I was going to put two on either end, but you know, if I was using a 55 gallon drum, I think that's exactly what I would do. I would use uh, two on each end, but being that these are smaller, and I'm not sure, maybe this is a 30 gallon, I'm not 100%, uh, but I figured it really only needed two. So, what I'm going to do now is lay it back down on its top like it was before, and uh, we're going to go to uh, step number two. If you remember at the beginning, I said I cut four pieces at 35 and a quarter. And I cut four pieces at 33 or 31 and uh, three quarters. If that's the case, I should be able to screw these together and have a two before width right there at the top, which is perfect. And that's gonna be 
There's my four button like they tried to do. So, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to. I don't like that knot. If I'd have known that, I'd have cut it the other way around. And this side is not that pretty. So, that's what I'll do like this. I'll cover this up. That'll be at the bottom. We will put that together, put that together, and we will screw. We'll put enough screws in here that it will hold it and we won't have too much of a problem. But to verify, we're good. Okay. We'll put one here to start it. That should hold that leg. If I take this, put it like that, I should be doggone close. If I can take this, keep it square, like that, and like this, I should be doggone close. So, I'm going to go ahead now that I have this dog gone closed, I'm going to try to clamp it there. correct I can take this off and that should stay pretty much there but I can still move it around then what we're going to do is take supports that way I can make sure that this is just right by going support this way and then I will put another support this way no we've got the legs on and we have all eight of the supports but but wait a minute, there's two more boards. Aren't we finished? Nay, he say. <laughs> we still gotta put some supports that support the bottom of them barrels. Right, let's get them put up. And uh, I think that will then, we'll set it up and see what it looks like at, to that point. And by the way, I did look and this was a 30 gallon barrel, not a 50, a 30 gallon barrel. Okay, there it is. And uh, I think it's actually not too bad looking. Let me get away from it so you can see it a little better. It's not too bad looking. So should we... Uh, should we call this finished? I think not. I have other ideas. What What do you think of this? I have... Uh, I have some cedar fencing to, uh, I think, to dress up the top of it. Take it over. Instead of having all the end of those boards showing I can miter out the corners and it would look more like this I think that would make it uh, a lot better looking okay so okay. Oh, you would think 
look at this. See what it looks like from out here. I don't think that looks too super bad at all. Now, whether or not I'm gonna be able to pick it up and carry it up onto the back deck. But wait a minute. We still have one more thing to do. Oh, yay. We have to put drains in this. It's gonna be on the deck, so I don't want it to drain all the way all over the deck. So we got, we got the stuff to do it. Let's get her done. We'll be back in a minute and I'll show you what we've got, okay? Now, I'm gonna say, I think it's done. I have the drains. These are called tank drains. Uh, I got them at Lowe's. I basically do a one and a quarter inch hole in there and uh, stick that in with a, and it has a rubber grommet that seals it. And uh, then underneath, let me see if I can get it. You attach this small little piece there that goes on and then you can attach a, uh, a garden hose to it. I have some pieces of garden hose that'll hook to that. That way when it drains, it'll drain off of the deck and not onto the deck. And uh, mama will definitely be well, happy about that. You ask me if she liked it. Let's put it this way. By the time I got it up here and before I could get the dirt in it, she already had her potted plants sitting here ready to go into it. I think she did. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Now we get to grow some herbs. This is stay at homer. I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed your visit. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Tell your family, tell your friends. Tell your local gardener. You know, the one that had a real garden, not just a, a back deck garden. I got some cleaning up to do. We'll catch you all the next time. And you all have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.